So let's talk about, we get, we get so many questions about how the behavior panel started. Yeah. What mm-hmm. happened? Yeah. How did it come? Because yeah. it, it happened because of a few things that came together that normally in a normal world wouldn't happen. Right. Let's talk cool. about how that how that came about. Let's talk about how we we all first connected. Well, you, Greg, connected first. Yeah. I yeah. think. We yeah. connected first. And, I, and what happened was I was doing a TED talk, and uh, or a TEDx talk in Nashville. And... I'd read all Greg's books, and there was one that said that he had a part in his book that said, if you if you don't pay attention to what you're talking about in body language, if you just start throwing things out there, you'll create a Frankenstein's monster of body language. So I thought, oh, there it is, body language Frankenstein. So that's what I made my TEDx talk about, right? Right. So I'm getting ready to go down there and do it, and the day before, I said, and I looked at that picture of him on the back of the book, I said, I better, I better get a hold of that guy and say, look, man, here's what I'm doing. Just going to let you know because I'm totally ripping your stuff off. I'm totally stealing your thing there. So I sent him an email and I said, hey, uh, Greg, Scott Rouse, I'm sort of in the same business here and um, I'm doing a TEDx talk and I have this thing that I came up with that, that I'm doing. It's called um, the Body Language Frankenstein, but I totally ripped it from your thing. Um, if you'd have a, and I told him what was in the book, I told you it was in the book. And I get back, which I know is okay now. <laughs> I didn't get, I got an email back, but it wasn't an email. All it was, everything was in the subject line. And it just said, I'll call tomorrow at 12. I'm like, oh, and this isn't good. And I look Bad at the picture ass. again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, no, 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 because no, I got to do the thing tomorrow. So I was like, okay, great, great, great. So I go out and I sit in my car. I was at the entrepreneur t- at the center at the time. I was the entrepreneur in residence there during this. And so I went out and sat in my car. And I was like, okay, 12 o'clock, bang. 12 o'clock and phone rang, it was him. And I was like, hey man. He goes, hey, what are you doing? I was like, oh, nothing, what are you doing? He's like, oh, nothing, hey, I think that's a great idea. And he was just like he is now. I'm flattered, I was yeah. flattered. I mean, I was just, that's what I said, I was yeah, flattered. Yeah. But I just, man, I had the worst feeling. I just knew I was gonna <laughs> you and say, where are you right now? Because I'm in Nashville. Hold on, right? move over to yeah, the right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sending my lawyers. I can't see your head, man, I can't see your head. Yeah, where no. are you, are in the car? No, I was flattered, I, that, was, that was cool for me because you know I'd written those books, I, I wrote books like that for yeah. a while, and then I took a break. You know, yeah. when things changed. Yeah. So it was good timing. And that, I've yeah. forgotten how long ago that was. That, that was. was what, and then we met. <laughs> the first time we met up was at, at, at this place called the Sportsman's Grill. Remember that? Uh, it was oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He said, well, I'm going to be in town. Well, let's, let's hook up and, and eat and kind of. He said, it'll be later in the night. I said, okay, great. It was 8 or 9 o'clock. I said, no, a great place. My favorite place, Sportsman's Grill. It's right there uh, at Vanderbilt. It's gone now. <laughs> and I said, and he said, okay, we'll meet there. So we meet there and we're eating. Right, and the whole time I was sitting there, you know, you do, you know, you know this. When you do, when you're eating with somebody, you're doing something, and you start moving everything over into their space to kind of, and then you've got them blocked in a little box there just to see what they do. And like your cup, you see your glasses, you know, stuff. He kept knocking my stuff off the table. You know, he kept knocking. I was like, okay, you're gonna get it. And then he would accidentally spill something on the table. And I was, and I knew what he was doing. I was, and I want to say. Don't do that. You know, we're, we're doing. But then to this day, he says, No, no, it was, it was nothing. Yeah. So <laughs> he came, and, I, and I, I didn't, couldn't tell if you want me to call you out on it or what. So I didn't say anything because he's a lot bigger than me. So I didn't say much about that. And then he's like, Then we got to talking, and I showed you all my slide decks, which are uh, concepts of stuff, a lot of stuff you've done, because you know how you do when you do these things. You take ideas from people's books, and yeah. you say, Here's what I'm going to build. This is Eggman, and this is Hartley, and this is uh, Bowden, and this is Hughes. And you tell what these things are. Are. And so I said, you all those, and you said, and we, we talked, you said, we should do, you know, and I said, we should do a course together. Yeah. He said, yeah, we probably should. I think we probably should. How did, oh, so how did you guys come into this? Now I'll bring it together with the. Well, so before we'd met, though, I'd met, well, you guys had helped on Truth and Lies right. mm-hmm. that Tracy Thompson and myself were writing. Yep. And so let me just explain that, first of all, before I go yeah. to our piece, because I um, I write all of my books based on the Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer method of trying to get other people to do all the work. That's brilliant. So, um, you did. yeah, Joe right. tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So, so I'd gone. Okay, I want a whole bunch of people to write little pieces, and I'd seen your TED talk, which is great. Mm, and and so I thought, okay, well, let's send Scott a message and see whether he'll do a page. Mm. You know, because that's a page that I don't have to do. <laughs> is the main brilliant. Is the main, is the main thing um, and so I said so I you know I, I tell Scott you know here's what I'm up to and here it is and I'd love you to do a piece and and Scott says yeah great fantastic um, 
and and then he starts sending stuff back, and I send him some stuff that we're writing, and he starts, yeah. and he's going, have you seen this article, and this article, and there's this, this thing here, and I'm like, oh, okay, this guy's really quite nerdy, and he's got a lot of, <laughs> got, got a lot of, you know, seems like he's got a lot of kind of really good technical knowledge going on. And so I said, um, I will, would you want to be like technical editor on, <laughs> on this? Because I'm just thinking, I could probably get somebody to read the whole book <laughs> and, and, and work out whether it's any good or not and like tell us what we've done which is complete nonsense right. you know because that's something that I don't have to do mm. so and, and Scott that's was beautiful. like yeah that'd be great so I'm like this is fantastic and he says he says I got this friend called Greg and, <laughs> and like and like you know he does somebody I'm like okay like bring him in bring it out like let's all get involved that was and, a corporate dude in those days yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so and so both of you guys are in truth and lies it's fantastic now I didn't know Chase at the time because Chase wasn't kind of out there at the time you were still I was active duty you were still uh, active no, duty at, the, at yeah. the time so nobody knew that you were you were around at, at the time um, so so why don't you take off as to how we met yeah so I, I was in uh, Toronto 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 doing a <laughs> Uh, I don't know, three or four day seminar right when I was getting out of the military. Yeah. Like, this is the first seminar I've ever done in my life. Oh, nice. Ever. It was horrible. Everyone said that they liked it, but I think it was, <laughs> it was, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Uh, I want to refund them all or go, you know, now I want to go back and fix it. But So I'm in town. And I, I think I just reached out over email. Or, or so the guy, some guy who you were working with. Bert Henderson. Right. Put yeah. us, put, sent me a note and said, Chase you should meet this yeah. guy, Chase. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah. And it was snowing outside. It was. And we, uh, we met at this wine bar. And uh, I brought a copy of my book. Yeah. Mark brought a copy yeah. of his. And uh, it was incredible. And my first thought was like, Holy shit, this guy's big. <laughs> this is a big dude. Like, yeah. he's, his head is twice the size of my head. <laughs> uh, but then I got over that, and I think we talked for three hours. We did. We, we had a great time. A couple it was bottles a of wine. great dinner. And, and, and the other guy paid for it, which was fantastic. He paid for it and didn't say a word. <laughs> didn't say a word. He was just like, he I just, just want to sit he here just and love the thing that we were yeah. there. Talking yeah. to each other. Yeah. And I was sitting there going, we're just having a chat and this guy's paying for everything. It's always like, the best way. Get like, 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 you, anybody else? Yeah. Need a go? Yeah, it was great. It was a great and a wonderful evening. guy. Yeah. A wonderful yeah, guy. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, I think that was it. You know, we you know, we took we took an Uber home. You and yeah. uh, we dropped Yeah, you, you dropped me off at my house. Drop you off at your house. Yeah. Then a few months later this I'm doing a Canada? seminar. It's in Canada. Yeah. It's in Toronto. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a few months later I'm doing a seminar in Nashville. And I call up this guy, Scott Rouse. I was like, hey, man, I'm doing a seminar way north up in Nashville. You want to meet at this little uh, redneck maybe. bar somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we're, we're hanging out. I didn't know that Scott knew you. Right. I had no idea. So Scott, we're just sitting there, and Scott goes, uh, hey, man, we should send a video to Mark Bowden. <laughs> I was like, oh, what kind of video? So Never Scott... <laughs> Scott, I think it was your idea. It had to be your yeah. idea. Scott's like, well, I'm going to pretend like I'm I'm completely wasted drunk. And then I'm going to come over the bar at you. And then we're going to fist fight. Uh, <laughs> but I want you to start greeting Mark to the camera. And then we're going to get into a, a drunken fight. And uh, maybe we can throw that clip somewhere uh, that around would be uh, fun. this yeah, area here. Yeah. Mark, hope you're doing well, man. Wanted to wish you and Tracy Happy New Year. I haven't spoken to you in a while. Hey, I'm in Nashville, hey, Tennessee. Hey, seriously, man. I'm trying to get some, I got some things working out over here. I'm trying to make a video for my friend here. I don't here. care what you're doing, Navy man. Well, you're looking like you want to get you your ass beat. Nope. You suck. And then COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So, but hang on, before you go, before you go to have the. I want to add in some more stuff because I think I'd said to Scott, after meeting you, I'd said to Scott, so there's this guy, Chase Hughes, yes, who I don't think anybody knows about, yeah. and you should have a, you should have a chat to him because yeah. I think he's really good. Yeah. So I'd already put that yeah. out there. Because I when 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 the guy who was buying his dinner had, had said you guys should get together, I kind of searched around the internet. 
and I found a video of you. And I found a video of you. You'd gone to, I think it was Colgate, was it Colgate? Yeah, Colgate University. Colgate University. And you were coming out of Colgate University and you'd been doing some research there um, into... MK Ultra. Yeah. And, and <laughs> you were talking about the cubic feet of documents that you'd, you'd, oh, yeah. you'd been through. And you were saying some names of some people that I recognize and not everybody would really recognize. Yeah. And you were talking about their documents in cubic feet. And I instantly went, 36. oh, this guy is, um, is serious. <laughs> like, this is a serious person. This is, I will, go and, I will go and meet this person because he's, t he's talking about documents in cubic feet. <laughs> cubic feet. And this is the only video I can find of him. What a dude. Yeah, I will, I will go and go Milton and Erickson. Him. Was that the one you were talking about? Milton Erickson, Aldous Huxley, Margaret yeah. Mead. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the first time I talked to Chase, I, I think I texted you or sent you something on LinkedIn or something. And and about your picture, maybe you still had that big navy picture. I was like, yeah, this guy looks like a, you know. It's like, oh yeah. And then you called me up, and you said, hey man, and we talked for a while. You said, listen, I'm getting ready to go talk to like 21 people in a row. That thing where you we go out to in Los Angeles, here right. in Los Angeles. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. When you're talking about, and you're going to go interrogate all the like a bunch of them at the same time. You're like, I'm going to go do this. Any suggestions for that? Do you remember what I said? I said, yeah, man. Just go in there and, and read read it one time. Yeah. You know, read technique at one yeah. time. Yeah. For each one of them. And which we all get in we all get an interrogation. But that that's the first thing I remember you and you're going, Okay, all right, that's what I'll do. That's what I'm gonna do. And I remember thinking, I think you can probably do it, because you sound like you could you could pull it <laughs> off. I was like, Yeah, So let me give you those results really quick. I don't okay. know if I ever did. No. Twenty nine interrogations, four days. Uh huh. So I had about 40 minutes per interrogation. Right. Ooh. All but one That's confessed quick. to an over over $10,000 felony crime. Nice. Wow. It was great. What was it what was commonality? Yeah. yeah. That's Ooh. great stuff. What was commonality? What was your point? Corporate theft, yep. but they had been using an AI screening system mm. to detect stuff up front. Yeah. Uh, and so they had a red list. Yep. So it wasn't like I just got no, that's false confession. They had a high risk list of people. This was this twenty nine people. So I went in there and oh, you could lay into it. Well, that's screening. Yeah. That's screening. Yeah. I mean, what you're doing is AI screening versus yeah. a human doing it, which is more effective. Yeah, probably. super yeah. effective. Beautiful. That's a awesome. that's a great thing about that kind of interrogation is you, you're working on a confession, not information. You're after a confession. Right. right. So back to this now. It's beautiful. So <laughs> from the, we have all that information right there now. One thing Greg and I always talked about because we thought it was hilarious, <laughs> he always wanted to do. Uh, he wanted to, to to look at videos of people who've seen Bigfoot. Oh, I want to bring him in and interview him. Remember? <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Let's do that. Right. Let's he's do like, that. He's like, bring him in. I want to talk. He's like, he's like this. He's like, we need to do a show <laughs> where we get people who've seen Bigfoot and we'll bring him in and talk to him and get them to tell us they haven't seen Bigfoot. And I was like, what? Uh, if you know, a Bigfoot, ghost, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. And I was like, okay. I was like, I'm down with that. We got to talk to him about ghosts too. We'll, we'll talk about guys. Yeah. He goes, all right, let's do it. And so then soon. So right after that, then Mark had said, yeah, mate, let's do a video. You said something <laughs> like that, and Chase said, hey, mate, you come and say, hey, let's do a video. And, yeah. and Greg said, we need to do video. So I said, shoot, man, what do you think? And Greg said, well, let's gather everybody up and we'll start shooting. So I sent a video. To you guys, yes, yeah. which I'll show part of it. Yeah. Show part of it right part. here. Politically yeah. correct. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I haven't shaved for a week and a half. That's what's going on here. It's pitiful. Anyway, Greg and I were talking, and we thought it might be cool if we did a Zoom call with us, us four, and we did it to where we recorded the screen. We had all four squares of us on the screen, and we talked about what we thought happened in the uh, Tiger King. If that woman killed her husband, did she really kill him? Uh, if she did, what'd she do with the, with the body? Did she feed it to the tigers? Did she feed it to the lions? Um, did she, they dispose of it somehow under the sewage thing like um, the, that guy was talking about? Um, it might be something that, that would be, you know, good, a video to give some heat anyway. It would be interesting. It'd be fun to do. And um, what are your thoughts on that? Let me know. And uh, I said, hey, why don't we get together and do this and we'll do the Tiger King. Remember that was the You know where the Tiger King came from is there's a guy I know who's a kid at the time, you know, and he said, hey, there's this thing going on on social media that you should look into because everybody wants to know she did it. I was like, yeah, 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 you know me. I hate social media. I hate all that stuff. But I went and looked. And, oh, yeah. And said, yeah. This is what we got to do, guys. Yeah. It was so good. It was yeah. such a good so one. So I put a video together and sent it to everybody. I was like, yeah, okay, we'll do it. Let's do that. That'd be great. And that's when we did 
Remember, we all had it on our own channels. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, and guys, I, honestly, I, I say this all the time. You know, I did this a long time ago. I started this a long time ago, and I left, and you brought me back to play in, in the body learners game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys have all it's been a hell of a lot of fun the way we're doing it now. But yeah. when I was doing it a long time ago, there were, there's not much of this going on. There's mm -hmm. no YouTube. I had to rewrite books about social media and that kind of thing because it was yeah. so long ago. And That's now, that where we are, look how fast Greg pushed that, just pushed that train track right over into the Humalians and alien investigations. <laughs> ah, nicely done. <laughs> but we done. didn't get Bigfoot yet. We still yeah. have, I'm still waiting for Bigfoot. I got one right now. We let's do, do it. Let's do a Bigfoot we, episode. Let's, let's find this, and without making fun, because your thing was, when it's over, we got to be able to say face yeah, and that's respect them. Right. That's right. Respect it's like it. anything else. You, yeah. When people leave, you can't, you got to still make have fun respect of yeah. for them. So, so that uh, there is a strong possibility there's some stuff out there. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not impossible, but... <laughs> well, wait, wait. No, have it's some not, more of this. It's, have some more of this. It's not impossible. Mark, I need more telling wine. some stories. I, I need more wine. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the guys who are, you know, out in the woods smoking a little, enjoying yeah, a little, sure. and they saw yeah. Bigfoot. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's kind of like people who see it. We've interviewed people who've seen UFOs that we said, look, we can't say he didn't see a UFO. Let's go yeah. on the record right now. Do you believe in aliens? Possible. Do I believe they've been here? Well, I, my only my, my logic equation says, if you fly, you know, ten thousand light years, whatever it is to get here, and then crash in a cornfield, something's wrong. <laughs> That's my biggest problem. Yeah. Or you don't have nobody detects you until you're here and you turn on the lights one evening. Come on, they're they're smarter than us if they can make that kind of stuff. Why would yeah. they suddenly have that happen? That's my only. It's always the redneck crashed aliens that we're talking about, not you know, yeah. some brilliant. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's, for me, it's like past lives. Everybody's always some Egyptian <laughs> yes. king, never always. a peasant, yeah. never a peasant, you know, scrabbling for potatoes in a in a pit. <laughs> this is somewhere a weird Napoleon, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm with you. I'm with Michael Shermer would come in perfectly. For <laughs> but uh, so, what do you think? Yeah, I think yes. There has to be something else out there, and uh, it, it explains a lot of why we're, it's so big out there. But do you think they've been here? Is the question. I do. And do you think these, what these people are seeing is that? I think what the Department of Defense has released is that. Mm. Yeah. I actually believe it. That's cool. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of us know the difference. None of us can. No. I, th I, th I think you're right. We can't, th we can't be the only thing out there. Yeah. I mean, out here. No. Out in, out in the wild. I mean, there's got to be something else. I don't think they're coming down and, and I don't think they're living among us. I don't think any of that's happening. I know. And people are going to say, you're being paid not to say that. We'll be paid if you give us enough of those Chick-fil-A cards, 40 bucks each, <laughs> yeah. three Send times a year. All a $40 Chick-fil-A yeah, yeah. card yeah. or Cracker Barrel gift card. Ah, oh, Cracker Barrel. Yeah. He's up the game. Cracker Barrel's good. Yeah. Heck yeah. So I think... Mark's going, they don't have those for you. <laughs> I, think, and I think you're right. I think there may be some... Uh, unless those... Tic Tac things are somehow some kind of weird drone or something that somebody's Not put together possible. that we're don't know what they are. Yeah, yeah. but I, I've never seen one. I'd have to see one. Or if you saw one, you told me I'd, I'd believe. You said, "Dude, I saw one." They, it, it, then I would believe it. But I'd, I'd have to because it's you know it's a tough call. But I think there's other stuff out there. We're not the only ones. We can think. talk off camera about that. Okay. Yeah, 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 for for me, like I said with Tom Reed, I, I, I believe he believes what he saw. I, yeah, when I, yeah, when we totally. talked to Tom, I was like, yeah, totally just lying. Saw you. Just totally. Same with his mother. Or, or, yeah. yeah, we also did the one on Hunley show, and uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, oh yeah, come on, guys, those guys are not lying to us. Whatever they believe, and his mother clearly believed what she saw. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not. Well, let's not call them liars. Same thing about Bigfoot, folks. I, I mm -hmm. tell you guys a story. There's a kid when I was working at Sear who saw Bigfoot in the woods and told me about it. And I went and looked, and it was a deer standing on its back legs eating acorns. Mm -hmm. What well, if if you've lived your whole life in the city and you see a deer walking on his back legs, it might look like... Yeah, with the moon in the right direction, yeah, yeah. the shadows of all kinds of stuff. Yeah, can, yeah. That's why I know. think we should do this Bigfoot alien thing. Because, look, mm -hmm. when we talk about humalians and say this person's full of crap, and then we, we should be able to say this person, like Tom Reed. Yep. That well, that's, is honesty. Yeah. We see honesty here. Yeah. I think she was making up humalians. <laughs> uh, they could possibly... Exist, uh, Mark. How many? She, uh, look, cut well, him off, Chase. So <laughs> I am. I'm. I think ninety-eight percentile in open to experience, <laughs> and two percent in in uh, skepticism. 
Cut to 30 minutes later, Marshall. I love you guys, man. <laughs> hey, I love you guys, man. Yeah, I think you, you're, we're probably invert, inverse yeah. somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. But no. let's, let's. But I, I, I'm, I'm excited about any story we can come up with. And folks listening can give us. I want to do, so. I think we should do, our original thing was, yeah. was Bigfoot. Yeah. Let's, I, I, you know, I'd love to think there's something that intelligent is tricking people and getting away from them, living out in the woods. Yeah, but it's always Liberace unloading crates of Bigfoots out of the back of a UFO. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's always it's really yeah. It's, you never see let's, somebody go, you know. Let's schedule like this was the if this was the base of the pyramid for the behavior panel. Mm -hmm. Let's schedule another trip like this. We'll book a suite. We'll bring in a couple of Bigfoot dudes, well, and we'll talk. I have yeah. a better idea. Come to Georgia. There's the Bigfoot we'll Museum. Fly man. We'll just, fly just get out of the car and say, come here a minute. Have you ever seen Bigfoot? You yeah. have. Hey, well, we come sign this release there. real quick. Yeah, there's yeah. the big... hundred bucks real quick, the easy way. There's the Bigfoot Museum in Blue Ridge, Georgia. We should broadcast from there. That would be a great idea. Oh. get shot. No, yeah. no. We could, we, we're we going to be respectful. Well, Look mostly. at you. <laughs> you know what we do think, for a living? I think we could be respectful. A lot of people believe that they yeah, saw yeah, it. I, that's exactly what I And think. we're not analyzing forensics or data. We're right. analyzing behavior. Okay. So some people are probably going to be BS. Some people are going to see it. Probably. Go BBS. <laughs> no, I'm open to it. I don't I'm think I'm very skeptical no, at the no, same time. Yeah, so am I. There's, <laughs> no. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to be biased. I don't think there is one. I'll tell them. I'm mean, not at the top. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say, hey, man, I know you're full of it, but it's not like when you go in and say, look, well, they know you did this. So I talk about interrogation. Here's a data point. I live in Georgia. If there was a Bigfoot walking around there. Hell, it'd be in your backyard knocking would, on the door. <laughs> I've been to your house. Somebody would have it stuffed if it were in Georgia. <laughs> right. Anything right. they see that right. looks, they think is good looking, you know, it's a good right. looking deer, boom. You know, it's right. the way yeah. things go. So be, and I'm from Arkansas. It would yeah. go into a yeah. garage freezer. Oh, yeah, they probably own, there you go. They own all of it. It would have run for governor there. at yeah. some point, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the mayor Bigfoot, least. Yeah, no, he was governor last, last week. Mayor yeah, at least, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's just, my Aunt Martha. That's not the right yeah, I just well, I said we do it, so we're gonna yeah, do let's do it. We got Bigfoot. Bigfoot. That's one out of the way. So what's the it. plan? We're gonna find some. I got one video already people. of two people that are fairly normal, you know, hunters who saw Bigfoot, and I, that's gonna be our next start. All right, so we'll get you guys. Get <laughs> let's, get, let's get a I've variety. Got videos yeah, yeah. Big I got three or four people. We'll spend two days. I like at it. a lodge somewhere nearby these people, so they don't have to travel very that's far. That's a great idea. This is North Carolina. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So I want to travel very far. Yeah, me either. Me either. I'll drive right down. Yep. We'll rent out an Airbnb lodge, get a film crew. You guys wouldn't believe the shit that's all around us in this <laughs> yeah, room right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we'll get a film crew. We'll figure out uh, how to do it, and we'll walk them through an interrogation, a respectful interrogation. Yeah, you know, elicitation. Just get them to talk. Just yeah, tell us what you saw. Sometimes this is the age-old thing when you do debriefing. And you're talking to somebody, mm. they remember things they didn't remember before. And mm. they might even say, well, no, it wasn't a Bigfoot. It was a horse that I saw that, you know, I'd seen yeah. horses before out in that area, so it probably was. If you ask the questions the right way, you open the way they think. The thing we do with ops guys. You go and when the guys come back from a mission, you ask them about a building. You say, hey, how many of these did you see in that building? They'll say, I didn't see any. And you start walking. Okay, when you open this door, what did you see? I saw four doors. Well, hold on a second. I did see that. It was on yeah. the right door. And it's just the way our brains store information. We store in big chunks and we skip over things yeah. sometimes. So, yeah, maybe it's worth it. All right. Well, after those tiny little tacos we had today. Yeah, I'm sorry. We had going dinner. Yeah. yeah. Taquitos. We yeah. didn't have tacos. Yeah. Those were tiny. Losing they were babies. Away. Yeah. So, all right. Well, this is really fun, you guys. I'm glad we could yeah. do this. I'm glad we got to sit here and talk about yeah, this. Yeah, me too. Me too. And uh, do this in a way we haven't done and before. And cheers yeah. to all cheers. of us together, yeah. guys. Cheers. What a change this is. Yep. This is one guy's Cheers, cheers. Like separated children at birth or something. Let's get some food. Great. Yeah. Uh.